Well done. It's good that um, young people in, in good schools like Budo and even all other schools have understood the importance, the significance of instilling in themselves at an early age the culture of saving money. Saving is an important aspect of, of success in the future because you cannot invest if you have not saved. You, you, you save, you learn the culture, even if you don't make much profit out of it, the discipline, the benefit of learning how to save early, foregoing something for today so that tomorrow can be better. That mindset is excellent, so I encourage you. So that's the first big win which you might not have realized. Just by saving, you do well. Now, to be at your stage when you are studying, you've got too much risk to reward. I would not advise you to, to go into money lending or into high risk activities because they'll give you a higher profit. What you need is first of all, make sure your savings are safe. So security, safety comes first. So put them in the bank. Get a fixed deposit. You're getting 12%, 11% maybe from the banks because the CBR rate today in the country is from the central bank rate is 10%. So the bank should be able to give you one or two percentage points above that. If you get that, you're getting 100,000 shillings from your million every year, which is not a lot, but it's ahead of inflation at least because inflation is low. So your money is not depreciating. It's together. So keep saving, build it up. When you've got time on your hands, you can open a small business, whether it is buying and selling of fruits, buying and selling of something in the food industry. That's where the highest margin is. But you've got to be there yourself. If you delegate to other people, you're going to lose your money. So get into that. People who do Rolex, people who do Chapati on the street, people who do Chimeri, with one million shillings, that's enough capital to invest in a small business. You cook food, you sell the food. Do your research, the area is important, the location and the pricing is important, and you must have someone who knows how to do that. But that's the easiest area where you can double your money. With one million shillings, within three months, that should be two million shillings. With another three months, that should be four million shillings. You can keep doubling your money in the food business at the lower end quite easily. You reach a level where you've got too much capital and you can't keep doing that, then maybe you look at buying produce, because it's a very easy win in this country, because everybody harvests at the same time. When maize is harvested, you've been hearing people cry, complaining, the price dropped to almost 100 shillings a kilo. So you buy. Maize worth a million shillings is enough to store. Your storage space costs are not going to be that high because you haven't got that much capital. And then you hold. In six months' time, the price will go to 800 shillings a, a, a kilo, which means your one million becomes eight million shillings. But then there you are speculating. So when do you sell? At 600, at 700, at 800? Do you hope it will get higher? I don't know. That's a bit of speculation. But at least it will not go below the price you bought at. So long as you look after your maize, you store it well, and there's, uh, there's no aflatoxin or uh, stuff going around it that causes the humidity and makes it bad. So there are many areas to do business, especially at the low level. But start with the most elementary things, the needs, because everybody needs food. And that's where your capital can grow quickly. Then you shall be, do more sophisticated things along the, along the road.